we go. Hey everybody, this is my friend Laura. She is an esthetician, right? Yes. Is that your official Esth title? Esthetician and makeup artist, yes. Yes, fantastic. And she also is fantastic at microblading. Oh, so thanks. microblading is the only, um, I would say, alteration that I have had done to my face. I have no Botox, I have nothing else, just microblading. And Laura has always done my microblading and she's fantastic at it. So I wanted to ask her a few questions about it that you probably want answered, and they're questions that I get all the time. So first of all, explain to us exactly what microblading is. Sure. Um, microblading is actually um, a tattoo, a cosmetic tattoo. Um, it is with the use of a handheld tool with a grouping of needles um, to make hair strokes. So if you uh, don't have any hair or if you um, are sparse, then we can actually add in 3D hair strokes that look like actual hair. So that's basically so cool. all microblading is. So it's just a bunch of uh, hair strokes. And the hair strokes are why it looks different than the traditional tattooing of brows, correct? Yes. Um, yes, because we do, um, with our grouping of needles, um, I like to use about maybe anywhere from 10 to 14 needles. And they're kind of, the ones I like are kind of a curved slant. So when you're going through the skin with the needles, it really makes it look completely real. Even after you um, first get it done, it looks completely real. And then when they actually heal, then they will soften a little bit. And I mean, no one can tell that you've actually had something done. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. Um, and when you first get it done, then you go back in six weeks for a touch-up, correct? You do, yes. Um, I like to do that because it's part of the process because um, everyone heals a little bit differently. So you do want to come in at about the six to eight week mark to get a perfecting uh, touch up um, just so they look awesome for mm -hmm. you know the next year to 18 months. Very cool. And then tell me about the shading part because last time I think we did a little bit of shading, right? We did, yeah. Um, shading is wonderful. You can do as little bit just to kind of fill in, just so you, especially for those um, that don't really have very many um, natural hairs anymore. So it makes it just look a little bit more finished. Or you can go ahead and go full on makeup brow. So basically kind of the difference we like to say, microblading is you just woke up with fabulous eyebrows. Mm -hmm. That's what you were born with. Um, they look great. Mm -hmm. When you add shading, um, especially if you want, if you're used to wearing a lot more makeup, it will go ahead and um, make it look more like you have a makeup type look. But like I said, you can go a little bit lighter in the shading so it just looks very natural too. You don't have to have that full on glam eyebrow. Mm -hmm. I love that. Um, and how long does it typically last? Um, usually uh, we tell people about 18 months. Um, however, I encourage people to come in about every 12 months um, or so, depending on their lifestyle and like their skin. Um, so typically, if you're a little bit more oily, um, you may have to come in a little bit sooner um, than the 12 month mark just to keep your microblading fresh um, so you don't have to worry about anything disappearing or anything. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that I learned too, just from you doing mine, is that I, in the beginning, was using a lot of kind of exfoliating peel type products or glycolic mm -hmm. acids and things like that on my forehead mm -hmm. for just because I want to prevent wrinkles. Sure. But that was probably not the best idea because it tended to take out some of the ink. So you just want to be careful of that, right? Right. Yeah, the um, alpha hydroxy acid products, anything with, you know, the chemical exfoliation, um, you do need to be very careful with. Um, if you do use it, I'm a fan of them as well. But if you do use them, um, you will have to probably get touched up more because obviously it's an exfoliation. And if, you know, you definitely want to go around the eyebrows. You definitely don't want it on the eyebrows at all and as far away from the eyebrows as possible so they do not fade. Um, but yes, um, you know, I, like I said, I love it. So I still mm -hmm. kind of would put a little bit up there, but um, you you may have to get your microblading done more often. Yeah, a little more often, which is not a problem. No, no. <laughs> you know, I mean, if you have to come in every like 10 months or so instead of 12, I, I don't really feel like that's a problem. Mm -hmm. So... But. Absolutely. So tell us about the things, just a few of them. We're going to put some more of this into the comments below the video. <clears throat> but tell us about the things that would mean that you should not get microblading done. Yeah, there's a few different um, things. First, there's absolutely not. Then there's like need a doctor's um, 
you know, note basically. And then there's a temporary that you can't get it done. So, um, absolutely not, um, HIV, hepatitis, um, cancer, um, if you um, do hypertrophic scars or keloid scars, because that means if you are prone to keloids, then your brows may do that as well. So we definitely will not do them, uh, do it then. Um, if you need a doctor's note, if you're diabetic, um, have epilepsy, um, a lot of these things, you know, if you are being treated and you're good, you know, the doctor doesn't have a problem, they can just do the note. And then temporarily, um, if you're breastfeeding, pregnant, um, definitely cannot because we do use topical numbing creams and that will get in the bloodstream. So that is a big no-no. If you are using the Retin-A and the alpha hydroxy acids and what have you, you do have to um, be off those for the Retin-A's actually up to six weeks before you actually get microbladed. Um, and then you have to wait till about four weeks after you're done microblading to, um, to resume using those products. So that's just a few. There is a larger list, but you know, those are a couple of the main ones. Yeah, we'll put some of those additional things below just so that you have a pretty complete list. Um, so the process is kind of cool, actually. It's really just the process takes, what, about three hours, right, altogether? Um, you know, it varies on um, the technician, the artist, um, you know, and what you're getting. Uh, so typically, I think microblading probably takes me about an hour and a half to two hours. If I add shading, it's going to go probably closer to almost two and a half hours. Um, when I first started off, yes, it was three hours. Um, but, you know, as I've been doing it a year and a half now, so as you actually go ahead and um, get better at it and have more practice, um, it, the time does go down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And you did a lot of training, right? You went did. and did some really great training in California. Yes, I did. I um, went, I was trained through Everlasting Brows in Los Angeles with... Um, Jen Boyd, who is now Jen Boyd Inc. And um, great, I went both through her training for basic, which is just the microblading. And then I also went through her advanced training uh, with the shading and the lash enhancement eyeliner. So both trainings were wonderful. Um, I highly recommend, um, yeah, going out and getting the best training possible. Mm -hmm. And that also brings us to the question that I get a lot, which is, how do you know who to go to? Because there have definitely been, especially in our area, a couple of people who have been doing this that really shouldn't be doing this. Yeah. So how do you know who to go to? Yeah, that one is, is like you have to do your due diligence. You have to do your research. So um, things that I would look for is um, their training. You know, definitely what was their training, how long was their training, um, how intensive was their training. Because that's a big one. Um, also, you want to look, you know, are they insured is big. Um, you want to ask the artist questions. Ask to see their work and make sure that it's actually their work. Um, don't just look at the photos on their, you know, on their sites. Um, but just, you know, feel comfortable to ask us, you know, is that your work? Um, I've had people do that and I'm like, yes, everything I post is my work. But, you know, as Shannon had mentioned, there was a couple instances where that wasn't the case and people thought they were going to someone good and they were not showing their work. So definitely that, um, you know, if you know, um, get referrals. If you know people who have um, been, you know, gotten their brows done or ask the artist that you're looking at to, you know, Give, you, give them some names of people who wouldn't mind um, giving their feedback. You know, look at, you know, what, look at their um, reviews online, on their Facebook page, on their website. And um, then I think you could probably feel pretty comfortable. Also, you know, consultations are important. Um, I will do online, phone, or in-person consultations. So whatever is going to make you feel the most comfortable. Um, I do have everything on my website um, as far as con the contraindications and all that kind of stuff. So um, you can definitely be looking at that. But, you know, I've had people, you know, want to meet me. Come in, you know, let's have a little rapport and just kind of talk a little bit and make sure that you're comfortable and that I've answered, you know, everything that I possibly could for them. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot to just research, you know, just, you know, research everybody out, you know, check out different artists and see, um, whose style too fits mm -hmm. you, which is, I think, important as well. Absolutely. And I think, I feel like 
If you're also a makeup artist, that's an advantage because microblading really is an art. It is. And people say, well, how do they know, you know, how to do the shape? She draws the shape out for you. You can mm -hmm. see what that's going to look like, basically, before she ever starts doing it. So it's mm -hmm. not like you're just kind of, you know, going on faith and laying down and just letting her do whatever. No. You get to kind of see, and you get to see the color choices and things like that. Yes. So it's really nice. And basically, she just numbs you out for a little while. It's what, like mm -hmm. 20 minutes? It takes yeah. Time? Yeah. Um, do you want me to go through the process real quick? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, so basically, we start. I kind of ask, you know, if, especially if you're a first-time client, um, what you don't like about your brows, what you like about your brows, um, you know, go ahead, which eyebrow is your favorite. And then we go ahead and, um, I start brow mapping actually. So, um, I'll be using floss to make sure I'm getting my angles right. Um, and just really mapping everything out to make sure that your brows are going to match up with your bone structure, your muscle structure, and, um, that they are going to be the most flattering for your face. Then, um, after that's done and that's approved, mm -hmm. I will go ahead and we'll numb you for about 20 minutes with a topical um, lidocaine cream. And we take that off, and then that's when we actually start microblading. Mm -hmm. So I go through um, at least probably three different passes. The first pass is kind of a, they call it the skeleton pass. So basically I am going around the eyebrow so I know exactly where I need to go when I fill in. So your shape of your eyebrow is complete after the first pass. And then we go back in and kind of fill in. The third pass is kind of when I start tweaking a little bit. I kind of go back and forth making sure that they look as symmetrical as possible. And um, then if we need to go in a fourth time, we will, I'll definitely do that. But usually after about that third time, you know, or I may have to do a stroke here or there or lengthen a stroke or something. But, um, but yeah, after that, then um, I let you look at them. Of course, I did forget we do um, do the color too as, you know, as during the brow mapping. So um, we'll do the color as well then. But then, yeah, I have you look at them and make sure that you're happy with them. And I give you your um, aftercare instructions and um, away you go for six to eight weeks and then you come back and get them touched up. Yeah, and it's awesome. It's So this is probably one of the best things. Um, I'm going to try to find and post a picture of what my brows were like before I got microblading. The difference I is think, amazing. I think I have something you probably for you. have one, yes. Um, and it is incredible to just be able to wake up in the morning and have eyebrows. You, you don't necessarily think that it's that big a deal until you see it and then you realize it's a huge deal. It is probably the best investment you will ever make in terms of your appearance because it makes all the difference. It really it does. does. Yeah, so Laura McElroy Beauty, if you are in the South Dakota area, and um, I will post her a link to her website and some of her work um, under this video. So post any questions, and if there are questions that we didn't get to, um, I will get with Laura and have her answer them and post those answers mm -hmm. for you. Hey everybody, I hope you really enjoyed that interview with Laura um, and got some really great information about microblading. So I wanted to show you the day after microblading and what the brows look like. At first they come in fairly dark, but they look quite real. I'm going to try to get up a little bit closer here so you can really see. Um, with the hair strokes and the shading that she does to make them a little fuller, they actually do look quite real. Um, the color is coming in pretty strong. It does that for probably mm, three or four days or so. And um, so they'll look pretty strong. So a lot of people kind of freak out about that, but it's okay because then that color is going to start to recede. That color recedes for probably a week or two. They almost look like they're not there, so don't let that scare you because they will come back in and then that's what they will look like from there on out. Um, six weeks later, you go back and you get a touch-up if necessary. And generally this process... Um, lasts for about 18 months depending on the person. So um, I will probably go back and just get a touch up if mine seem to be fading out at the ends, which mine tend to do because I have oilier skin. So here's the thing. I've had a really great experience with microblading because I chose someone who had really great training and who is very conscientious, especially about hygiene. That's super important. Um, she's really conscientious about everything. So I've had a great experience, but if you choose to do microblading, it's really on you to do your research, do your homework, make sure that you know the background and the training of the person who's doing the microblading. The other thing that is on you is to do the aftercare because you do have to take care of them afterwards. They have to be cleaned about three times a day. Um, you put a little bit of product on them, um, not brow product, but um, kind of a moisturizing 
um, gel to put on them so that they don't dry out too much or scab up too much. You have to just be very careful about not using AHA and BHA products around the brows that will migrate down and remove some of that color. You have to be careful to avoid um, swimming in chlorine, um, things like when you work out at the gym, sweating on them because of the salt content in that. Um, so you do have to do some aftercare, and that's on you to do that. Your microblade artist cannot do that for you. So I think that if you do your research and you do your aftercare, it's likely that you're going to have a really good experience with it. And it makes a huge difference in how you feel about yourself. Just waking up in the morning with eyebrows that are nice doesn't seem like a huge thing, but it really is. It helps your confidence so much. You feel like you can wear less makeup, and you just feel better about how you look day to day. So if you're interested in microblading, obviously it's not for everyone, but if you're interested in it, I hope that you check it out and see how it goes. So have a little drink of your sparkling water, hydrate a little bit, and we will see you next video.